is Jody with the Painted Minnow where we teach, create, and decorate joyful homes with corn design. Uh, we're a little late tonight because I was watching my friend do an interview. But uh, we have an order. We got a commission to get a to do a um church picture. So I was like, oh well, we'll just do it live and then share the fun with y'all. So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, I'm just starting on this on this piece. And we're using different, um, hey Miss Lisa, I'm using like kind of a different color palette. Um, well, I guess it's kind of similar to the piece that I, that online that I did. So, I went to, um, Miss hey, Lisa. Yeah. I went, um, to do a job today and it was this huge, like, hutch that was her grandmother's and we did a uh, cake batter. Which is like, I don't use cake batter that often, y'all. But she picked this color. And it turned out so beautiful. I'm like, this is like going to be my new color. So we did Apothecary, Bohemian Blue, and uh, Farm Fresh. So she wants us to do a painting to match. Hey, guys. Hey, everybody. Um, so she wants me to do a painting to match the armoire that I painted today, or the hutch, I guess it'd be called an armoire. And um, so that's what I'm working on. I'm going to create something to pull her whole look together. So, <laughs> good, I'm glad it's perfect time and I was worried I was a little late. So I'm starting off with faded burlap, y'all. This is just gonna be my backdrop. Um, because the piece is, um, because the piece is the blues and the apothecary and just hints of yellow, I'm going to make the, um, backdrop, the background, I guess you would call it, I'm going to make that the cake batter and the, um, faded burlap and the crinoline. So, that's what I'm working on. David is... He discovered, y'all know how we have internet problems? Um, so he discovered this little thing that you can buy and it's supposed to boost the internet. So that's what he's doing. He's hooking up our internet and we shouldn't have any more issues um, with the internet. So we'll see. We'll see if it works. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> like, I guess we're living under a rock because, well, we kind of do live way out in the country. We are some country folks. But, uh. He, I mean, I didn't know about this thing. You can just, like, it, it makes your internet, like, ten times stronger or something. Your Wi-Fi, so. Okay. Where's Daddy? Daddy is at Mamie's. All right, so this is crinoline. And, y'all, crinoline is a pretty, uh-uh, Daddy. Uh, Sorry, Daddy, shut. <laughs> no, that's what <laughs> Crinoline is a pretty, Amy, just throw it. But she can't Crinoline is it. a pretty creamy color, too. Um, she can't have that. That's why she's angry. Um, Karen, how did she hear about me? She went to our booth at Rustic Elegant, and she bought several pieces um, from our booth, and she asked them if I went to her house and did custom work and um they got her phone number and I called her and she started watching our lives and we're going to do several projects over there so I'm super excited. Is that what you were talking about Karen? Alright. So this is the crinoline and I'm just kind of blending y'all now. I want to add some texture um, so I'm going to do that with stripes with the cake batter. But I'll show you all that in just a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself because I've been thinking about this all day. <laughs> oh, Tiffany, she's on here. Yay. Hey, Tiffany. <laughs> so, y'all. <laughs> so, Tiffany, I'm working on your picture. <laughs> I mean, it's 
really just make a huge impact with the blues. So hopefully y'all can see that on this. And so I'm just kind of, I'm right now I'm bl I'm blending um faded burlap and crinoline is what I'm. I'm just kind of blending and I threw in like a hint. I don't know if you can see this, a hint of boho blue that I'm just kind of pulling sideways. So I'm just. I, it doesn't have to be perfectly blended because I'm fixing the um. All right.
crazy with the background because you know the church is going to take most of it up anyway. So, and this is going to be a real soft. Um, usually I, I use real like dark colors and you know the dark wax and so they're not as soft. This is going to be real soft, which I'm super excited about. Okay. Alright, I think I pretty much got this the way I wanted. So, I've been debating. Um, and I think the main color of the church is going to be Farm Fresh. Hey, Miss Nancy. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of, um, just kind of measure it out, y'all. <laughs> That's just how I kind of do it. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to use faded burlap first. And then come back in with the dark color just in case. I don't want to, um, the, the faded burlap will be easier for me to delete if I don't like the lines. Hey, Miss Kathy. Alright, so I'm going to start a little. And y'all, I don't know if you can see this behind me, but this is similar to what he's going to uh, frame it in. So, it's going to really pull these colors nicely. Alright, so right now I'm just using my little handy dandy tool. Where'd that come and from? <laughs> that my lovely husband that spoils me made me. And that I currently make and sell. <laughs> and so, yes, he's working on some orders right now, y'all. Okay, let's see. Is that enough or is that too much, David? Like, I don't need that much, huh? That much gap? No. So, go, I can go. Okay. Yeah, all you need is about however much you want it off the frame. Okay. Alright, so I'm just kind of outlining the church right now, y'all, and I'm using faded burlap. Um, I am going to come back with the greens and the blues. I'm not going to keep it faded burlap. I just am using the faded burlap because it is going to uh, blend in with the background the most right now in case I have to like delete it, which happens very often. Y'all know I'm a deleter. <laughs> I'm a never giver upper, but I do start over a lot. <laughs> and I want it to be organic, so I'm not measuring or anything like that. Um, I'm trying to I'm looking at a similar one that I have hanging on my wall, so that's the one I'm using for the shape, kind of. I tend to go up too high a lot, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Um, because I don't want to cut the cross off with the frame. We thought about the bottom, but we didn't think about the top, baby. Well, I just assumed you were kind of associating them together. I know, we shouldn't assume stuff. The white top? <laughs> Alright, so... And y'all, this is just the rough job, so I kind of know where the layout's going to be. No, that's enough. Hold on. That's enough for the whole All right. Oh, then we're good. See? Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. David's going to read the comments in just a sec, y'all. Yep, I chased him around the house asking 
talking in the build stuff. <laughs> no, that's true. We're laughing, but it's true. <laughs> All right. It is. I have no clue, love. You have to call it. It's probably in the bedroom. All right. Again, I want this to be really organic, so it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be like, y'all know. Y'all know the drill. All if right. You don't stick around and you'll learn. <laughs> he said if you don't stick around and you'll learn. Y'all learn that I'm messy and I go through brushes like I don't know what. I learned that about myself on a daily basis. <laughs> Can't find it in. It's not in my purse. I had it. I know for a fact it's not in my purse. <sighs> We're looking for my phone, y'all. I told them the house is hungry tonight. It's eating everything. It was in the bed. Um. <laughs> Miss Kathy says she's liking the hair. Me too. <laughs> hey, Linda. All right. Okay, y'all, I think it kind of got it. So this is going to be deleted. So I'm just going to pull it out. And then this is deleted. So I'm just pulling it out. If I delete it, I mean, like, those are not the lines I'm going to use. So I don't want to confuse myself. So I'm just kind of pulling them out. That way they will be... That way they won't confuse me. I'll probably still get confused because y'all know that's how, that's just how I do. <laughs> okay. Just how I do. That's how I do, is that a... David said, so we went to, um, we call it down the road. That's where I'm from, y'all. Call it it's down south, the road. David said I call it down the road. It's south Louisiana, um, below New Orleans. And so we went there for Easter, and David said that I've been talking like that since I came home. <laughs> He said, when I go down there, I start talking, um, I start talking like that again. I don't really notice, but they all, they all tell me that. All of his family. You even got, uh, Amy doing it now. She's not even from there. <laughs> he said, Amy does it too, and she's not even from there. <laughs> all right, y'all, this is Farm Fresh, y'all. I don't know what, I was going to say, it's kind of like boho, and I don't know, but I'm, I'm in love with this color, y'all. I totally am getting some more of this. It's just, it's like mermaid tail and, um, boho maybe? I don't know. It's like a mixture of my favorite colors, like, just got together and, like, did a dance or something. <laughs> had a baby? What? They did a dance and had a baby. Some green? Some <laughs> green music playing, maybe some paint. All right.
one here. I it did so good. I'll watch some of it too. Oh, this is the wedding, huh? She ain't okay good. We're not allowed to order paint brushes. She wants some. <laughs>
I just love the beach. So I've totally felt in my element and the building had glass windows like all the way around. You could it's almost like you could just feel the um the breeze. I don't know, it was just so it was just so nice. I absolutely loved the location and I just loved loved the atmosphere. Yes, and all the people that came, which are so awesome. It was just a good night. So we are going to definitely be doing more. In fact, David's going to be doing one. Uh, me and David's going to do one together. Because one thing I did notice is that um, I was doing the... So you don't want to do it? Huh? So you don't want to do it? <laughs> I'm going to do a poll. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, one thing I noticed was, like, I was doing the color in a kind of more advanced, and so, um, a lot of people just had basic, like, um, and a lot of people messages and they message us, and they want to just paint something white, so, and y'all know that's David's specialty, not mine, that's so, our next class we're going to do, David is going to, um, paint a piece of furniture white. And he's going to go through all the steps, y'all, like prepping it. White is different. We're going to use vintage linen. White is so different than color. Uh, for one, bleed through is an issue with white. And by bleed through, it's like the wood just seeps through. And no matter how much you paint it or, or what you do, that um, wood just, you know, you get spots. And it starts to look like a, um, what? Yeah, and another thing that David has run into a few times, y'all, is that furniture will be from a house that has nicotine, and you can literally see the nicotine on the furniture. And People smoke in their house and never ventilate on it. Yeah, and that is like. That's worse than anything. Yes, that's the worst. So he is going to do a class, and I'm so excited and proud of him for this, y'all. Uh, I'll be there with them, and I'll be talking, and you know, I'll be I'll be helping them out a lot. But he'll be doing the painting, and um. Anyway, he's gonna show y'all like how to prep the piece, how to paint the piece white, um, and then how to seal the piece, either wax or clear coat. Different methods of distressing. Yeah, and he's gonna show you his different his methods of distressing the white because it is different. So, um, if you, you can just easily mess white up, and especially if you don't want that, like, uh, glaze look over it, you can make it look, just look dirty, and uh, I think that's where a lot of people go wrong, and a lot of people, I've noticed, start off painting one color, and it's usually a light color, like white or light blue, or, you know, and then the bleed through happens, and then there's no... Um, and they just freak out, and they just give up, and then they think they can't paint furniture, and that's not the case. And so, so, that's what we're going to do. He's going to do the class, and um, he's going to show step by step how to paint white. Um, Y'all, I can paint white. I have painted white, but David is, like, way better at it me, than me, so I'm going to let the master do it. What she say? Oh, I thought I was going to stop Long Beach is so pretty and the beach is, is, too, is there too. Yes, it is pretty. Like, I guess I've never really hung out in Long Beach, Donna. I was just so impressed. And yeah, Brooke was this, Brooke hosted us. Um, if you're in this area, she has a place called Gather where you can have events. And um, she brought us some goodies and she was just fantastic. So, um, it was just a wonderful experience. And I hope we can do several more. We're actually going to do... Whoops. We're actually... Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Um, Hiya. All right, y'all. So I got the bases of this, as y'all can see. Voila. Um, and if you think it's easy to talk and paint, y'all, it's not. <laughs> do whatever. I know. I like doing it, but it's, sometimes I'm like, you got to stop and look. No, it's we're also, it's we're going to record the class, the one, the white that David's doing, we're going to, um, record it, and so we will have a virtual, like, a, um, like a virtual one available, and that's not going to be till June, though, guys, I believe it'll be 
need you, but I'll keep y'all updated. I have to wait on the um on the building.
use, and I, I can use it to do this, like I can't do it with a brush. It gives me those layers that, uh, y'all see I use that, that this, can't even much use this anymore because it just doesn't, what? that, this. I tried to oh, use yeah. it, but it just that ain't gonna work. Because she's being silly, silly puppy. Okay. So that's the basic outline. This will be a window. See how I can use this to draw? This will go here. Then we'll do another window here.
I'm so excited, y'all. We're going to do lots of layering of stencils and lots of, um, and I may have a special guest. I'll let y'all know for sure. I'm working on it. If you want here and you hear me. <laughs> All right. She must know the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> she baked, um, it's definitely the way to my heart, Karen. <laughs> she knows I'm weak. She baked, y'all. So I had to go about a year ago. Easter made a whole year that I've been gluten free. Now I have kind of, you know, had days where I didn't, um, eat gluten free and I paid for it. But um, it just literally, the gluten just one day started making me really sick. It took a, a lot of trial and error to figure out what was making me sick. But it turned out it was the gluten. So I've been a year. Easter made a year. And um, gosh, that flew by, huh, David? But no. <laughs> anyway, because they're so incredibly sweet, um, David's parents cook a lot too and they make a lot of their own food. They bake their own bread. They don't buy they don't buy a whole lot of um they they, they make buy, everything. They order material for me. Yeah, they they order the supplies to make stuff rather than the actual 
actual stuff. So anyway. I like to make cornmeal and gets corn and grinds it up and makes yeah. it more cornmeal. So Amy does learn a lot from them. But anyway, they um, made me, they have been working on a formula. <laughs> and they made me a gluten-free flour that I can, subs that can now, because if you've ever tried to like cook gluten-free, we were trying to like, we didn't have any luck making any kind of bread, making any kind of, um, Whoops, I'm sorry. Oh, Karen, thank you. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> our, fate, our first class, I'm going to be doing like basic stuff. But oh, y'all, I'm sorry. Back to the gluten. So they perfected me a flour that I can put in any recipe. Like um, they have a lot of family recipes like pancakes, biscuits, um, their bread recipe, their cake recipes. They make a bunch of cakes from scratch. Um, that's all the stuff that Amy makes. Chocolate chip cookies, all that I couldn't have, and we couldn't really find a flour that would carry out the recipes like we needed it to. So they they made this flour. They they ground it, ground rice, and other ingredients, and it has been working so well. Amy's made me cookies. Um. She made, yeah, David made my grandmother's type pancakes that I haven't been able to have, which was always something that I love. Um, <laughs> and y'all, they taste delicious. Like, they, they taste like... A pancake? Yeah, like... Looks just like a real pancake. He's showing y'all the pancake. Without gluten? So, he's... We've been playing the is it gluten or not gluten game. That's how much it um tastes alike. So if you ever tasted store bought gluten bread, it is not good. <laughs> or we haven't found one that we. But so yeah, we've been playing. We make chocolate chip cookies and we're like, okay, which ones have gluten, which ones don't. So where did you find the flour again? Just Karen wanted to know. My father made it. Oh, David's dad made it for me. He you actually. Can buy it. You can buy it pre done off Amazon. No, you can't buy that one. But you can buy a good, a decent flour. Yeah, I, I can get the recipe from him, Karen, and send you the link. But uh, he ground it brown rice, and he bought brown rice, xanthan gum. He brought uh, he brought like four different materials, and he grinded them in his grinder and made me flour out of them. <laughs> but you can buy it already grinded. Yeah, David said you can buy it already grinded. It's, just, grinded. A, it's just a little more expensive. Oh, yeah, you can buy the... the Ingredients already. Yeah, just mix it up. Yeah. Yeah, you don't actually have to be. Uh, you know. I'll ask him for the recipe tomorrow. Um, cause it is really like I'm not kidding. I I feel like you can eat uh, flour. Yeah, I feel like I can eat. Oh, David made me flour tortillas the other night. Um, for my fajitas, I haven't had flour tortilla. I mean, I haven't had like not flour, but you know the gluten free ones. Um. Like, I haven't had those in a long time. Because those were one of the main things that were making me really sick. Was, um, I, we cook a lot of Mexican food around here. Fajitas, tacos. And that was one of the main things that, like, started with my issues. Kind of throwing some yellow in there. I kind of like that. Alright, I was gonna do gold right here, but I kinda like in the yellow. Let's see what I got. Yeah, I think we'll play around with the yellow. This is cake batter, y'all. This is DIY too. I'm still um
and I did see, um, I had thyroid issues and high blood pressure, and I quit eating dairy too, but I've kind of incorporated some dairy back into my diet now, but, um, but I did see a lot of benefits, but I think it just, it's different for everybody, it just depends on what you have going on, that's just what worked for me. So I've been eating everything. We've been experimenting, so we've been eating everything and anything. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we're talking. Now it's coming together. change the background up just a little. We'll see, we'll see. It's still kind of early. Y'all know it takes lots of layers and colors and too because um yeah I, wa I was a queen bee girl um like when I was ordering I was always ordering the queen bee and not the cake batter and then Tiffany sent me like a color palette and I was like oh that looks pretty close to cake batter and I mean when we put it in her house today it was like Crayola. <laughs> and this video is not sponsored by Peter or Crayola. 
like these colors, Lee, because they are they're kind of like organic and spa-like and very calming. Very calming. Um, the boho blue kind of, you know, bad. But I still like the boho blue in it. <laughs> you know there's got to be boho somewhere. Now, now I'm going to take this, y'all. This is the one he did that's super flat. Let me show y'all. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I love texture, Donna. So, what I'm going to do now is all this that I just put on here, I'm going to begin to scrape it off and just re redistribute it. And what that does is it just adds... Tricky. It's defined as moving one object, moving on from one place to another. Yeah, and that's just adding the texture of it, so it's not just flat. And you can do it with this too. You don't have to use that one. I was I was using that one because I thought I'd get more off, but actually this one's working better. So I designed them to work better. <laughs> oh, this little one I like a lot. This is a wider, this is one of the new ones, but it's a wider short one. And it has, a, see how the back is, so you can use the back to, yeah, this is the, this is in the three-piece center now. That was one I made for you. Okay. You got to have something nobody else can have. Oh. and I'm just scraping it in there and then redistributing it. Yummy, yummy texture. Yeah. And this just gives it that, like when you feel it. And I don't know if you can tell this on, online, y'all, but in person they have lots of dimension and 3D kind of stuff going on. So that's what this is creating. And I really like that. So that's why I'm purposely like doing that.
we just kind of made the door smaller. It was just way too big. That's all we're doing. And you can definitely just paint this and blend it. Um, it just seems like, and I may do one maybe tomorrow, a different type that's not so textured. Um, so I really think that it will look just as good, just, um, you know, just kind of watercolor. But, um, everybody that I've been doing them for has been, like, they like the texture. So, I didn't want to change it up. And not have what yeah. Yeah. 